Good evening, folks. Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time for your Twitter reactions to Celtic nil, Livingston nil. I'm going to try and keep this one short. We'll start with Ian Beveridge. The worst thing is that this was expected. Can't say much more apart from unlucky for Okoflex. My biggest concern is the fact the club seems to be standing still on all fronts with no signings, sales, apologies or P45s. Aye, I think today we knew it was going to be tough. We knew that Livingston are playing well. I thought Livingston were actually really good in the game. Pressed us really well. We had no attacking threat, no real uh, focal point as a something as an outlet. So, so their press worked really well. Um, they they got on a lot of loose balls. They won a lot of fifty fifties, um, and they probably created the better chances of the two teams over the course of the ninety minutes as well. So credit to them. They done well. We knew this was going to be another nightmare for us because of the much changed team. But as I said in the video, it wasn't a team full of youth players. Um, there's plenty of first team players there, guys with experience that have played for Celtic. But the the big thing for me is that they look resigned. They look like a defeated team. They look like everything's gone against them, which, uh, listen, the negativity that's surrounding the club, that, that most of it being brought on by the club itself is there for all to see. But it looks like the players are feeling that as well because they just look beaten. Um, I, I think in terms of the game, shocking. But Ian's right in what he's saying. Like, nothing's happening. We're not making any changes. I think the, the manager has to go. Now I'm getting fed up to coming here and, and saying the same things week in and week out. So I'm going to try and keep it much shorter tonight. But every game that Neil Lennon stays here, more damage is being done. And it makes it harder for whoever's going to replace him. And whatever we're going to do next season, that job becomes harder and harder and harder the longer that Neil Lennon stays as the manager. That today is a team that doesn't have any identity. It doesn't know how to play. It doesn't have a structure. It doesn't have... An identity, that's the big thing. When different players come in, guys playing out of position, whatever it is, you should be able to tell what the team's identity is and you can because it's not coached well enough. The standards have fallen through the floor. Um, Neil Lennon inherited a team that was winning everything and he spent a lot of money in that process. The culture is questionable. Without knowing everything that goes on inside the club, the culture's questionable. The standards have fell through the floor. The fitness of the players again today, despite their winter training camp to, to the warm weather of Dubai, their fitness levels today didn't look as good as Livingston's. I think where the club have fallen to under New Lennon's guidance is an absolute disgrace. And I think every minute that he's here longer makes the job more difficult for the next guy. Craig Mack, 12-09. Can't watch a game with confidence. No one on that pitch today wanted to play for a shot. Every game is a dead rubber now, and you can tell that by watching the way the players are playing. We need changes on and off the pitch now, struggling to even see his finishing second. Aye, I mean, with the games in hand, we should just about <laughs> manage to, to see out second, but it is getting that way. I mean, the title's long gone. The title is so far gone, it's untrue. Um, all we've really got to play for, if anything now, is just to make sure we don't fall any further than second place. That's grim. Um, but that's the situation we find ourselves in because of the decisions that the club has made. Um, there's wrong decision after wrong decision, and then they've doubled down on every single one of those wrong decisions. Um, we heard it in October and November and December, and now we're in January, and it's still getting worse, and the status quo is still in place. Hoops lad 67, abysmal again, and no one is surprised. With no changes at the club, it's getting unbearable. We've went from dominating domestic football to underperforming, Nervous also runs in the space of half a season. When are the board going to do something? Anything? Aye, that's a big question. When are the board going to do something? Um, you see everything that's happened this season and the, the Dubai trip is the worst one for me. Um, I know we've had the apology now, but the Dubai one is the one that just shows a culture that is all wrong inside the football club in terms of decision making. The fact that nobody stood up and said, listen, we shouldn't go. We should not go because that's that's the outcome today. That's why we've drawn today. That's why Livingston were the better team today um, and we've drawn now now. That's why we drew against Hibs on Monday because we've had these disjointed teams that was all brought on by a trip to Dubai that should never have happened, brought on by a culture of zero accountability and bad decision making. That's why we're in the position that we're in. When are the board going to do something? When are they going to make change because it's it's got so bad now i don't i don't care whether it's rebuilding for next season 
bringing somebody in, tear them in, I don't care what it is, but something drastic has to happen. The manager has to be sacked. That's the very least. Just take action. Take action that shows everybody that this isn't acceptable. Because anything that isn't removing people from their position tells you that the board are happy with this and that they find it acceptable. Like, action has to happen. We don't want words. We don't want statements. We need action. James, it's like the Tony Mowbray days or even worse, back to Liam Brady in the 90s. We are beyond rotten. The club needs a board and management. Total clear out. It's shameful to see how far we've fallen. Aye. I've been saying it for months now. The board and the the coaching staff need cleared out. We need to rip it up and start again, basically. As I said, to think what this coaching staff inherited um, when Rodgers left, despite the manner that Rodgers left in, um, where the standards were, where the fitness levels were, and to have driven it all off a cliff is a damning indictment on, on how incapable those people are of doing the job of being the Celtic manager of leading Celtic Football Club. Um, it is so poor. We'll finish tonight with Patrick Murphy. Remember 14 weeks ago when we called for change and we were told that we were overreacting and to keep the faith. We said that if we didn't do something, it would be too late to save the season. Well, it turns out we were right and we are slowly destroying ourselves. There you go. Um, that about sums it up for me and I think it tells the story of the season. Everybody, every single supporter with their head screwed on knew this was, this was what was going to happen. They knew the change had to come in October or November at the latest to save this season, to try and get things back on track, to try and stop the current structure from ruining this even more than they already have. But what did we do? Nothing. The club didn't do anything. Um, they're still not doing anything. And let's be honest, they won't do anything this week either. They might not do anything next week or next month. Um, we'll probably just continue this car crash until the end of the season um, because nobody's accountable nobody's responsible for for their bad decisions this season nobody's responsible for doubling down on all the mistakes that they've made um, and that's why we find ourselves in this position that'll do us for tonight like the video comment your own thoughts below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already we'll be back during the week um, for the next chapter in this disaster of a season cheers <laughs>